Okay. Oh, it seems to be working. This is good. But the problem is that I don't know exactly how smooth this is going. So this is the first time I'm broadcasting from PS5 to YouTube directly. Uh, hopefully this is going to show up okay. This is more of a test, but um, I'll see how it goes. All right, if, uh, if anyone's watching, if you're lucky enough to be watching or unlucky enough to be watching, great, let's do it. So we're starting Season of the Deep. Straight up, I, I, you know what, I have no idea what this season is about. I've um, completely gone off the grid. I have, <laughs> I have watched zero trailers. So um, I knew it would uh, start yesterday, but I was too busy to actually like to even hop on. There were, there were a lot of connection issues I hear on Twitter. So whew, one day later, here I am. Let's see, what else do I need? Okay, that's the PvP goat shell. So let's uh, do your the usual stuff. Get them out of the way. We need uh, maximize the EX. Why do I not have that on? Interesting. I'm going to do this. Uh, I need to maximize the light <laughs> experience. Uh, did I say light? Blinding light, that's, that's the one. Uh, what else do I need? All the other mods should still be the same. But I don't have any follow tower rounds. I don't even have the artifacts unlocked. It's gonna be awesome. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Isn't this great? Uh, I have a. I'm gonna save a bunch of. I, I only stored like a bunch of bounties for. I still have the Guardian games, dude. What? Uh, abandon. So I stalled bounties only on this character. So I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. Oh, I didn't check this. Centrifuge. Okay. Oh, damn. What is this? It's a f this looks pretty cool. Let's see. 450. Huh. 450 archetype. Do we have any 450 archetype by Auto Rival Exotic? Hard light, I think hard light is 600. I can't think of one. Tommy's, Tommy's match stick. You know what, it's been such a long time since I last used that exotic, I don't even remember the name of it. Doesn't matter, let's have a look. Uh, sprinting, sliding and firing this weapon builds a temporary electrostatic charge. Uh, okay. Increasing range and reload speed, final blows with high charge cause explosions, and maximum charge explosions blind targets. This sounds like a... This sounds like it's trying to do a lot of things. And it somehow reminds me, like just a tiny, tiny bit, reminds me of uh, uh, the D1 Sailor Supercell. Just the color scheme, like the, the design has nothing to do with it, it's just the color scheme itself. If you've never seen that auto rifle before, go check that out, it's actually a pretty awesome auto rifle. I wish they'd bring it back in D2, um, I wish. Alright, let's, uh, well, let's go for it. There's no time like now, right? Oh, it's arc though, it doesn't really go well with my void. I'm gonna use it. Can I do anything about that? Nope. All right. Literally just uh, landed on Titan. So here we go. I'm really hoping this uh, upload goes well. The streaming. Like the last time I tried it on YouTube, I think there was a lot of lag. But that, that could be my internet connection. I am at the tidal anchor, not far from your position. It is Okay. Quiet. The stress signal is weak. I've established a beachhead inside the new Pacific Arcology. No sign of the hive. Signal strength Lovely. is weak here as well. I the mean, Titan. Titan is actually a so pretty interesting place. It's but it's also one of the smallest. And um, yeah, you know, like when you first land, it's it's like a a really distinctive environment, and I really liked it when it first uh, when I first arrived, but after like a few seasons, it does get boring. And it did get boring, because it got vaulted by Bungie. It's like, nope, we don't need you. <laughs> get into the vault. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued what they're going to change on this one. I'm going, yep, I'm going there. Oh, 
I mean, usually the first season is a... Uh, okay. Ah, okay. So here we go. This is, this is how... this is how it starts. We don't have... I don't remember having taken on Titan. It used to be Hive and... Maybe Fallen? Gosh, it's been so long. I don't really... Hive. There was definitely Hive, but I'm not sure whether there was Fallen. I think it was Fallen. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there we go. Well. Hey. Whoa, what was that? Ah, uh, this sh this shotgun feels good. It, it it's not like it's not a PVE shotgun. It just feels good, like the way it sounds. I mean, shotgun is uh, not really my thing, but I will I will um, I will make an exception for this one. Uh, this is Imperial Decree, if um, if you're wondering. All right, let's see what this auto rifle can actually do. Like, so far it just feels like a regular auto rifle, so unless you, like, slide. So I need to slide with this. Alright, so there's a char overcharge capacity. Oh, okay, okay. So what does it do? Is it like, uh... Is it like... Okay, there's chain lighting. But it... So causing damage is supposed to be doing chain lightning as well. But is it that you don't need to even get a kill to charge the lightning? Because the, the charge of Ruka is sprinting charges it. And when you fire it... Okay, if you don't hit anything, it doesn't fire. But if you don't move, then you lose the charge. I see. So, if you do... If you play this in PvP, you have to be pretty aggressive. You gotta be moving all the time. Where am I going now? That way. Oh, I remember... No, wait, I don't remember this. This is different. This is very different. Alright, let's go. Uh, you know what, Bungie? I really wish we have, like, slightly different enemy types. I mean, like... Uh, damage, pretty mediocre. Like, uh, if, it's just a 450 auto rifle. If you don't have to... If you don't have the perk active, it's um, mm, solid ad clearer, I guess. Is that the derelict? Hey, gang! Heard there was a party, and I what thought derelict? I'd pop on by and see what the fuss is all about. This is a rescue mission for Deputy Commander Sloan. Get off the line. Oh, oh the great! She owes me a drink. A drink. Would I oh, there it is derelict so uh, I guess one of the best things about this auto rifle so far is that um, like to actually release the charge you don't even need to do like damage you can just be sprinting so as long as you have movement then it's good and if you're not moving like right now you're just strafing left and right then you're still charging it by causing damage but I struggle to see anything beyond that it's not gonna be a DPS monster and if you really want to use like an ad clearing exotic uh, I mean that's really it's a decent option I can't think of another exotic that's like really good at arc clearing ad clearing ad clearing arc exotic what do we have Trinity goal that's a good one but that's a bow Hmm. Oh, 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 here we go. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Punch it, you, you, oh, you sneaky rascal. <laughs> oh, I fell for that, literally. Hmm. Right, this is very different from the Titan, I remember. I'm going that way. Am I? But you can clearly jump over there too. Oh, I'm confused. Let's just follow this uh, this radar. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, not good. Uh, 
This is uh, I'm trying to get this to level 17. I, I really don't want to grind Shirochi. It's just like wasting my life. So I, I have very limited time, and I really don't want to just be like be stuck in Shirochi for for eternity to grind. Whenever I want to grind levels, I'll just I'd rather use the gun to get level. This looks ominous. Back to the Ugh, fine, I'll stand there. This is what you want, right? Uh, let's reduce the sound effects, increase the dialogue, so you guys can hear it. You probably don't want to hear this auto rival just you know, chugging along, going da 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 da. Four fifty. Like I, I'm. I'm being put to sleep just listening to this arithmetic bang. Come on. Come out. You know, it's actually pretty stable on long range as well. Maybe I'm not giving this auto rifle enough credit. If you've used it already, like, let me know. <laughs> like, what's your view on this? The, my, my opinion of 450, just like the general feel of it, is that it's... It's... Kind of okay, but it doesn't really excel in doing something. It's not as exciting as a 720 when you fire it. It's just, 720 just feels like either you, either you go all out or you don't go at all. Like go hard or go home. Whereas 450 is like it's right in the middle, and I feel like it's uh, kind of okay, but it doesn't feel exciting to use. It doesn't feel like um, it doesn't feel as engaging. Right, can I? How far can I actually hit? So if I just like literally tap the trigger here, nah, that's too far. Clearly, it's too far. So it's not that stable. How about the stats? Good stability and handling. Recall direction slightly to the left, so it's um, solid, solid base stats. So what else am I doing now? Have I got like another? Ah, I hate, I hate these takens. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Ah, I see. I, I, okay, how many do we have? Oh, this is the, uh, this is one of those, yep, you have to stand there and not do anything, just kill ads, kind of a, kind of mission, alright? Silencing, come on. Uh, stay down. <laughs> You stay down, sir. Who's down there? You gonna come up and play? Oh, oh, crap, you are. Alright, hold it. Didn't you, where, where did you come from? Ah. Ah, that's a lot. That's a lot of them. I am the hand around your oh my god. This is it. This is how I die. You cannot escape me. More tickets. They're coming up from Sit the down. flush. I'm holding position. Ah. Well, I'm I'm not really that scared because the uh it it's still a respawn available zone. And these are pretty mediocre ads really. Um so far it's not really posing a challenge. It it, it is the start of mission, it's to be expected. Oh, what am I doing? I'm trying to shotgun. I'm trying to use the shotgun like a sniper. Alright. Come to me. Get over here. Yeah, taste some of this. <laughs> oh. So, high taken. Do we have any other stuff here? This um all right. I'll be, I'll be brutally honest. So far, it's not very engaging. Like, there's nothing quite gripping in the plot. Like, slowness back, great, but it feels like we're putting another pause on the whole. Like, oh wait, Traveler's got like this gaping triangular hole in the middle. What are we gonna do about it? But this this lady just came back. Like this guardian that's been gone missing. It just came back. Let's go have a look at that instead. Uh, 
get you. Oh, whoa, big, big dude, big dude, big dude, big, big, really big dude. <laughs> Sorry, I ran out of, I ran out of descriptions there. Let's have a look. Is, uh, hang on, is, uh, is this still a DPS king kind of material? Is this machine gun still good? Well, this thing is beefy. Oh, um, okay. This doesn't really help. This, um... I'm gonna quickly switch. I'm gonna have to use this one instead. Oh, no, they still have the two seconds ban. So when you only switch the weapon, you can't immediately fire it. That's dumb. <sighs> That's, like, the worst way to, like, try to tackle a... A damage or DPS bug. Oh, immune. Okay, it's gated. It doesn't tell you that. It... What do I do now? What do I do? Please tell me I don't have to stand on that thing. So now uh, I'm now using funnel web. I still get. Yeah, without Volatile around, it's, um, this thing is just a shade of what it used to be. I don't know what the artifact setup is for this season. I'm really hoping that there's something fun for Void, even if it's not Volatile around. I just, I, I quite like the synergy with Void in general. I don't know, maybe just because I said it, I'm not going to get what I want. What do we have, 1800? Nah. Nothing useful. Uh, I'm going that way? Over there? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I remember this bit. I think. Wait, the radar's telling me to go back. Did I not do... Did I not fix something? Where am I going? Telling me this is the place. I'm gonna go here anyway and have a look. Reach the communication array. Have I stepped on this yet? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've not I, I've not really um, paid much attention in this game anymore. It's usually search and destroy. <laughs> All right, what do we have? What do we have? Nothing. That voice we heard, it was Zivu Arath. I had only heard her voice in audio logs from the fall of the Cabal homeworld. There's no mistaking her. She must be near. We need to be careful. Her influence has never been this strong. All right. We need to find Sloane and get her out of here now. You're almost at the Array Guardian. Get moving. Go! Yep, this is the old Titan now. Like I remember these. Uh, this is where you start the. This is where you start one of the exciting missions. I wonder where this leads now. But we gotta stick with. Uh, where are you asking me to go? This way. Where am I going? Come on, tell me. Oh. Okay. The consoles here at Siren's Watch say the array is unpowered. Power Guardian, cell. You need to find a way to reroute power, then properly align the array's receivers. Uh, okay, what now? Rotate, combination dish, 33%. I'm getting some angles. So this one, what? Uh, alright. So I'm guessing I just need to make it go blue, right? Hopefully. Is, is this right, chat? Uh, <laughs> any chance? Any any of you can tell me? Excellent work. Systems are lighting up here. Oh, I good, have Sloan's position is one kilometer down. She is in the ocean. Yet is a sea of crushing methane. Nothing can survive there. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Guardian. Rig schematics show a ballast maintenance shaft near your position. 
Follow the signal down and find the deputy commander. I'll join up with you shortly. All right, where am I going? That way. Shaft, going down. Everything just spells death. But hey-ho, this is the first time that we'll get to uh, go down to... I don't know, it's not even an ocean, it's just ocean of methane. This looks inviting. Normally our guardian dies just like touching water. I know what you're thinking, but we have to try. Easy for you to say. Alright, no weapons. Geronimo. I've arrived at the diving point. I'm coming down to you. That ain't gonna happen, boss. Do you know how much pressure they're taking? They gotta get out of there. I am not leaving anyone behind again. And I ain't saying we do. Oh man, this pressure resistance. Alright, that's enough. I'm pulling you up before you and your ghost get flattened. Oh. That was actually really cool. I like it. I'm down in engineering making sure we don't blow up. Zavala's got his heart in the right place. But old Blue's about as stubborn as they come. You can't brute force this moon. The collapse messed the whole place up good. Gravity's weird down in the deep. There's pockets of air. Some places you can move safely. Others that'll crush you into a little speck. But I think I got something in my gets that'll help us out. Titan ain't my first aquatic rodeo. Go ahead and try out that prototype. Should protect you from the pressure. Well, some of it, at least. <laughs> like, in the middle of everything, you have a caution wet sign. <laughs> Bungie has a good sense of humor sometimes. I like it. Quiet device. Is this like the artifact? Now get on out of here. I'll fill the boss man in for you. Nice. All right. Well, well, well but what did we get? No, that's not the artifact. Okay, reach the signal source. All right, going down again. Very good. All right, so we need to go through the bubbles. All right, let's do it. No, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, man, this is like if you if you're claustrophobic, uh, like in any way, if you if you don't like this, I'm very sorry. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. All right, down we go. At least there's no four damage, right? Where's the... Ah, shoot, there we go. No, 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 no. How do I do this? Do I, like, press multiple... I can't press multiple times. I can jump. But it doesn't jump that high. Can I... No? All right, I have to do it this way first. Hey. Hi, is this dumb or what? All right, here we go. It feels slightly weird, the way we're jumping. Feels like it's going back to some of the old school FPS. I gotta take this bubble. Okay, alright, we're down. That has to be it. That has to be it. You're almost at the source of the distress signal. I've acquired one of Drifter's devices. I'll be joining you momentarily. I should have taken the bubble. <laughs> now we have time, we have time. We got it. Surprisingly fitting. I thought like I thought under the under the water it would be somewhat strange, but it somehow still fits with the destiny theme. Ah, oh, we got it. Is this the first mission done? Is this it? Uh, I'm waiting for that error code. <laughs> Sloan? Here, Commander. You're alive. 
Staying alive was the mission. And I always complete the mission. No wonder you called us, sister. Let's get you back home. You don't understand. That distress call wasn't for me. closest description that I can come up with. It looks like a whale, ish. The plunge. We are at the dive tank. What's this shiny thing? Oh, I got all but the command. Um, this is confusing. What's on the other side again? Okay, I need I need to figure all of this out. Maybe off camera. Let's see what, what they have to say first. Is that an ally? Her name is Asa. You can communicate with it. It's complicated, sir. I get impressions, emotions, uh, ideas. She knows our true enemy. The witness came for her species too. Discrete concepts are harder. Even more now, since this. And you're still you? Every bit. My light is holding this corruption back, but I can hear voices whispering, demanding. It's like being tuned in to the enemy's radio. If we could strengthen my connection with Asa, I believe it would improve my ability to communicate through the noise. I got some ideas. I'll draw up some specs and drop by soon. Sloan. I'm fine, sir. And I think I'm long overdue for a debriefing. As you wish. We'll reconvene at the helm. Nice. That's pretty cool. I don't like. As a quick first impression, I think the the whole story, whenever whether it's a side story, whether it's a main story, Bungie has a way of telling it that makes it interesting. But my main criticism still stands. Like the, the main thing right now should be the traveler, right? So, I, mean, I get it, she, Sloan is also important, but why are we here? Like, what happens on the other side now? It's just like, I was just playing like some sort of waiting game. I'm guessing this is like the new season's uh, kind of vendor-ish space. This has to be like a radio. Good to be back in contact with the Vanguard. It's an honor to serve with you. The Taken moved in quick after we lost Titan. I had to switch gears. Escape, evade, and rotate between extraction points. Survive for another day. That was the mission. I absorbed some of the Taken corruption to tap into their comms. If you can call them that. My bond with Asa proved mission critical too. I owe her my life. Now that Titan's back, the mission's changed. We need more intel on our enemy. The Witness. Drifter claims he knows a way to help Asa share that intel. Boost the signal so her message can get through. If he's right, then you're going to need some diving equipment. Thankfully, I was able to secure a pair of intact subnauticals from the Arcology storage units. Feel free to toss out that junk Drifter gave you earlier. This is the real deal.
Ah, this must be the artifact. Yes, let's go. Ooh. Targeted reduction. That looks like a taken theme weapon. Speak with Drifter via the hollow projector in the helm. Okay. Ah, uh, we've got a second message. Hey there, hero. While you were taking a dip in the methane, I detected something on the ocean floor. And it ain't native to Titan. I've seen it before. On the Glycon. On the Leviathan. On my own ship, too. An organism that's all about forming psychic connections. Seems it's growing like coral down in the depths. I'm thinking we gather it up and use it to amplify Sloane's link to the creature. I can modify my gambit equipment to bank that stuff and harness its power, but I'll need some Golden Age parts to do it. Just so happens, the arcology is full of Golden Age tech waiting to be salvaged. You help me collect it, and I'll fix up the bank. Right. Then it's just a matter of, well, <laughs> diving into the depths of the methane sea and dredging up what Sloane needs. Okay. Oh, while trying not to drown, of course. Nothing ah. you can't handle. So Come what on, do Drifter, you say? Please speak a little bit. Ready for just, another just Speak swim. a little bit quicker. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, so that means there's the other gameplay loop that we're supposed to gather some stuff for Drifter. Deep weapons, what do we have? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at that. Oh, 120. But we already had a 120 last season. Ah. Alright, maybe there's something different about this. Spare rations theme the 120. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to feel about that. Mm, it looks cool. It looks really cool. What's the origin trait? Increase hand and reload stability when no abilities are fully. D oh. Well, that's very different. So, emphasis on gunplay? Emphasis on gunplay when you have no ability? That's actually not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. It's pretty good. What are you at? Different times. Pulse rifle 540. Huh. It's been a while since we had like a 540 release. A strand. Void strand. Uh, another strand. A strand shotgun. Rapid fire frame. Ooh, not sure about that. I think rapid fire frame shotguns are not getting a lot of love at the moment. What else? A distant pool. Sniper rifle. Sniper rifle or. Hmm. Aggressive frame submachine gun. Didn't they get a nerve? It's a sixth ability. Really? Ooh. And then a sword. Alright. It's interesting. It's very interesting. So Deep Ingram, Salvage Key, and a ship. Not bad. At least it's unique looking. What else is there? Reset rank. Okay. Uh, rig bounty plus XP. Nothing that increases reputation, so it's the same as last season, pretty much. Oh! You can get the regular stuff. Oh, this one's 140. So the new taken looking ish spare ration and the original spare ration. Ah, this gun does look really cool. 140 is back, 36 uh, on range, and okay, probably craftable, disaster plan. Picking up ammunition increases this weapon's flinch resistance and range. Huh. Um, well, this is slightly, I, I mean, we still have an, an infinite primary ammo if this was 
out during the age when primary ammo was uh, uh, a limited, then yeah, I think this would be pretty good. But that means you have to use a special uh, or heavy in order to utilize this as a primary. Duck out back. Uh, yep. Outlast. Yep. I'm looking forward to Outlast. I never got a really good roll, and obviously all of these are sunset, so it's hard to it's hard to actually. Yeah, I, I like the design. These were good, but uh, like before, um, what was it called again? The activity that you used to have to run as three man and that was totally pro like broken. Ah. Uh... Can't remember, but people like grinded days and days to get God Rose, and then Bungie just decided to sunset all of them. And that was not fun. MPA Werewalker jacket? Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Looks pretty good. What about the cloak? That ain't a cloak. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> It's different. It's different. It it doesn't look bad. It just looks a bit different. I think we understood the the general concept there, so that's good. What else is around here? Oh, it's the helm. Oh, nice. Okay. What are we supposed to do now? Complete the salvage activity, launch salvage from the destination tab. But I did see something here. What's this? Wall table. I think is this past seasons? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, we can ignore that now. Good. Okay, now we have the artifact. Let's have a look what we have. Anti barrier auto. Good. Unstoppable hand cannon, overload scout rifle, very good. So we're going for auto rifle and hand cannon combo. What else? Overload trace rifles and glaive. They really want us to use glaives. I'm not a big fan. Like stabby stabby, shooty. But I, I much prefer weapons. The, the projectile weapons. Uh, I mean, Glaive is semi-projectile, but yeah, I think you know what I mean. Uh, authorized mods Void. These are the ones that um, reduces the cost of the armor mods. And then you have the Combined Siphon mods. Mm. What else? Improved Unraveling. I think we had that last season. Increased the amount dealt by... maybe? Deep Origins. Say the hangout nanotech tracer, nice. That means the neo moon weapons uh, can get benefits on that one. Oh, under the breach. Okay, some void synergy right there. Electric armor, stay amplified longer. Good, thunderous restored, grants bonus arcs of damage if cast while critically wounded. This could be interesting. Strand Soldier. Unraveling rounds when they gain woven mail while strands of class is equipped. That'll be useful. That'll be super super useful for strand build. Overcharge armory. Uh nanotech trace rockers and overcharge. Yep. Mm. It's alright. Protective breach. Nah. Counter charge. Mm, potentially useful. Amped up. Oh, okay. Looks like Ark is going to be a, like a really good build this season. All right, we are interested in the last column. Let's have a look. Targets affected by Strand debuffs takes increased damage from Ark and Void. Yep, they're pushing for Ark this season. Ark final blows while you're amplified. Summon a burst of lightning that damages and jolts targets. Hmm, does that work on weapons? I wonder. If it does, then the exotic auto rifle this season um, could be really good. Supernova, Void Risk Carrier, Large Weakening Pulse, Squad Goals. 
while your amplifier grants amplify to nearby performing a finish while you for whoa oh, whoa really that's cool performing a finish while you have devour grants devour so it has synergy on arc strand and void not a lot of solar <laughs> this season solar is just like have been completely cast out the window because all of these is like arc void and I, I don't see anything solar here lightning strikes twice yeah that's cool okay so main thing arc void and uh, no arc strand and then void in that order and solar is just completely out um, I don't know what to use. Uh, I guess I'll go auto rifle. Scout rifle is pretty good, but anti barrier is always like the first one I go for because it's always useful. There we go. Now we're going. We're going to uh, complete all the quests. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> it's the best thing to do every single start of the season. Just complete all the bounties. Come on. Nice. Alright, so we unlocked... Oh, we unlocked a shader as well. I didn't even check the season. Man, I... I so much stuff to check. Let's get all of those. Glamour. Shader. And the first deep ingram. We'll keep it for now. And then... Yep. Nothing useful. Gray shell. Ghost shell really should just be a cosmetic thing at this point, just to do as a cosmetic. I honestly don't think there's any benefits in having multiple ghost shell where you have to spend like amount of resources to get them to level 10. It's just a waste of time. Uh, let's see, we have uh, anti barrier. What should we do next? I think scout rifle. Scout rifle is useful. So having overload on primary is also good. Um, so we just need, so uh, unstoppable, I'm going to go for all projectiles on primary as well. I think that, that will always be helpful. What else do we have? Technicolor Siphon. I didn't find it that useful last season, so I don't think I'm going to go for it now. But I will put the void one, because, um... Because having the power search on void, uh, on a void build is always nice. Arc, I think that's uh, inevitable. Melee mods. Strand, siphoning. It's hard to, it's hard to uh, say no to. I'm gonna unlock the arc. Improved unraveling, deeper origins, under breach, electric armor, electric armor. This one is um, this one on its own, not as potent. Uh, but when you look at the uh, this one, gain damage resistance while amplified. If it works the same way as woven mail, then these two um, are really good. So you have to almost unlock them together. Uh, defeating a void deep of target creates a void breach while your void subclass is equipped. Mm, I quite like to like use the void one because on, in terms of hunter survivability, void is the good, um, the best one. I feel. Um, don't 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 quote me. That's just my personal preference. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the void, void side of things. Uh, and then from here, I shall go, let's see, so kinetic weapon search, nope, I don't need that, I need void. So now I can do two voids, and three voids, dang, yeah, it's already paying off. Uh, what else is there, time dilation, distribution, so I'm going to just say, go ahead and save that as a loadout. Alright, is it the one, yep, that's the one. Cool. So let's, uh, to finish off the stream, we're going to go for a, a salvage mission. Is this the one? Arena. Collect Golden Age salvage from the shallows of the Kraken, Ma uh, Kraken Mare for the Drifter. 
Oh, wow. Six players. Matchmaking. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is going to be interesting. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have? Shielded on Arc and Solar. Void threat. 25% increase. Outgoing. They're really going for Arc. Ah... Uh, or strand, I mean, I could go strand, but I just use all the void stuff. Maybe I can switch to strand. Strand is also, uh, strand is more expensive, but I don't really have a lot of strand weapons. Solid. Uh, I'm gonna embrace the strand. Let's go for it. So, strand weapons, we have Perpetualis and also, but that's a primary. It is an auto rival, which would be nice. Maybe I need something solar. Just to get oh explosive personality. Let's go. We can use that. Target redaction. I don't know. This uh I mean it looks cool. But this is also like not really not really attractive to use. One twenty has never really been my thing in um <laughs> even in PvE, it's like occasionally I'll get one out and just like play, play with it. But then I always put it back, just go, Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'll leave you there. Gather some dust. <laughs> Matador 64. I don't really... I, I don't know. I don't find myself using that as much. Maybe I should put it away. Centrifuge. Um, I, I, I'm going to go with this for now. All right, let's go. Boop. But that means I don't really have... Let's go for Solar Search. Solar Search. Solar Weapon Search. What else is there? Yep, and Strand. Can I get... If I undo this one, I can put a Strand on. So just those two. Yeah, it's not the best loadout, but hopefully it will work. For the time being. Now let's put a Shader on you. A Shader. Shader. Where's the one that I use for green? Shh. There. That green enough. <laughs> I hate it when some of the guns just don't, like some parts of the gun just don't follow the shader. Ooh. Like, I wonder how, what, how are you guys enjoying the season? I, I have no idea, so. It'd be nice to know. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually check the. What do we have in the bright store? Bright, bright dust store. Pole dance. Polar dance. I'm sorry. Polar dance. Oh, right. Pretty polarizing. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. When was the last time we had a six people matchmaking activity? But well, the first one I come across is Menagerie, but that's like ages ago, ages. Uh, we surely had a lot more six people activity. We didn't have one last season. Huh. We must defend All right, let's go. Rick. Go protect the machinery. I will advise from here. I really don't think Saint Forty needs to shout that much. Alright, this one has Zen Moment, and I think Zen Moment still works really well. Like, it, the, the gun is significantly more stable. I, I don't know whether they've, like, adjusted it since it, uh, it's, it's a new season, and I do think the state of Zen Moment, uh, if it's not been changed, then it's a little bit deck. overpowered. Need Just a little bit. Because it becomes super obvious, like the stability increase becomes super obvious uh, on an auto rifle, where you just don't get any sort of flinch. You should still get some flinch, and I'm not trying to say less nerve it or, or anything. It it feels really good to use, but at the same time, I mean, like there's zero recoil just by doing damage. 
And Zandelman on the Pulse Rifle is particularly nasty. Okay, that was too late. Uh, so far, no difficulty. Or do, we, do we need to use these to break the crystals? Uh, there we go. Advantage of using a... Oh, get out of my way. Advantage of using a controller. It's very slow. Let me go this way. 25. 10. Okay, about 15 shots per crystal. Wow, wow, this one is like all the way on the other end. I'm just gonna go for this one. Yep. Is it immune when I should? Yeah, it's immune. Right, okay, we need to... We need to get those. I don't need to do anything. Six people matchmaking is just like... Oh, there we go. Like, they just fall over. Yeah, anti-barrier auto rifle working nicely. Good stuff. Get back here. Come on. Oh, you're not going anywhere, sir. Get taste some of this. Whoa. You got a knife. All of you get burned. I don't see any crystals. Well, the, surely there's a yellow bar somewhere that I'm supposed to kill. Is that it? Yep, that's the one. Uh, no, actually, that didn't drop anything unless somebody somebody picked it up. You got nothing. What am I supposed to do? Defeat the ritualist uh, wizard? Ah, electrical is fried. Explosive personality is so good. I, I, for, I forgot how much I love this uh, grenade launcher. It's just so much fun. It's so easy to use. I really wanted to do a review of it, but like as far as... Legendary weapons just don't have, um, it needs something more, I feel. It needs something more to make, like, a funny video. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm about to die. Keep. Ooh, level up. I mean, um, I think I think they discussed something about this season's um, quality of life changes. Again, I haven't read anything, so I don't even know what's actually been de deployed, so to speak. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, there's there's some quality of life uh, when it comes to weapon leveling or maybe crafting, uh, ammo economy. No, no, actually, you know what? That's that's okay. Currency, though, on the other hand. It's still a little bit not ideal. So I need to read that up. Where's the where am I supposed to be going? Repair the salvage cranes. So there's one there. What else? And we have what are this? Battery. Oh no freaking way. Really? We're supposed to be doing that? So, where am I going now? See if Ralph's attention. Ah, oh, I can't do double jump. Okay, I can see this being annoying. Is this the crane? Is it the crane? I mean, if so, then where do I put it? Ah, oh, no way. I've gone to the wrong crane. Excuse me. It's just like, excuse me. All right, all right. I, I, I didn't sign up for this. I'm just doing my best. Please, let me get through. Okay, okay. We, we're, we're there. We're there. We're there. Here we go. Stalling. Nice. Is that it? 
Okay, so three batteries per crane. Shoot anything that tries to take our stuff. Reach next job site. Okay. That way? Are we going up? Um, no. Well, it says to come here. Oh, I'm going. Well, are we going all the way back? What? Well, this is weird. I see a design flaw. So we're supposed to protect this. Yeah, the anything floaty with uh, explosive personality is uh, not a good match. Or should I say uh, anything floaty with a wave frame launcher doesn't seem like a good match. Patterns until salvage can be safely transmat transmatted. Just protect the cargo, whatever it is that we're trying to protect. Mm, fusion grenade is still a thing. Can't stay close to it. That was yellow bar, pretty beefy. Oh, we can't use. Damn, we can't use any of this uh, weapon when we're going through here. Oh boy. Uh, oh, okay. So at least we're not fighting over bubbles. some uh, all right, I'm not too sure what needs to be done ah okay so we go to the right go to the correct symbol does it what are we shooting 
about this. Oh, okay, we can break the shield. It's just like plain horizontal lines. Good. What next? What next? Oh. Boss? Where's the boss? Ah, okay. Yeah, we can damage. Can I damage him here? Nice, I can. Range? I still can't quite get the range of the strand. I sometimes I feel like it should hit and sometimes I just, I just completely miss. to die. So we're going for uh, going for an A here. Where is the oh it's on the other side. Of course it's on the other side. My job's Invisible the same. hand and focus fury. <laughs> Zero mm -hmm. stability. Logistics. Bungie finally uh finally nailed it. Also been eating lunch. So sixty three reload speed, light mag. Some stability, but totally totally busted, like thirteen stability. This is not a great move because they just nerfed um Aggressive submachine guns. I feel like it's not really that. It's not going to be that attractive. Repeatedly missing targets increases this weapon's stability for a short time. <laughs> Perk that reward not for inaccuracy. Okay, okay. This could. I mean, this could be fun. Uh, Never say never until you try it. I, I'll I'll take it. I will take it. All right. That was interesting. I will um. I I will see how that goes. All right. Let's get back. Turn to orbit. Now oh, we've got some interesting endless aroma now available. Okay. Return to Titan, venture into the deep, Thor. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, I think I'm just gonna look for all of this stuff later on. Uh, yeah, let's do that later on. Where we're we going next? Um, complete the mission, Operation Thunderbolt. 
as another mission. Is this a campaign mission? It feels like, it. yeah, yeah, it looks like it. All right, we'll end it here, and then um, let me let me fiddle with some of this stuff for a little bit and see how we get to, and then uh, let's see. Let's see what comes out of this. But so far, this is like a pretty standard season model. I don't feel like there's anything that's changed too much. I mean, it could be good. Some of the some of the weapons look interesting. Certainly, the taken ones looks more interesting compared to the revived. Um, uh, oh damn it! I can't. I really can't remember what the activity was called. Like the the one that gave you spare rations and all that. Uh, and bug out bag um, something eternity maybe I don't know but the the taken ones look more interesting at least from the origin trait perspective alright well thank you very much for watching uh, see you soon